The feud, everyone, between Saudi Arabia and Iran intensifying today. Iran accusing Saudi Arabia of intentionally striking its embassy in Yemen. Joining me right now, former U.S. ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Robert Jordan, who took that position right after the September 11th attacks. Ambassador, good to have you here. Thank you. Do the Saudis feel like we're not there for them right now? Absolutely. They feel completely abandoned by the United States. Uh, going back to the fall of Hosni Mubarak in Egypt, uh, uh, this administration's embrace of the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, the ignoring of the so-called red line in Syria, uh, the Iran nuclear deal, the Iran missile test last week, all of this suggests uh, to the Saudis that uh, we really don't uh, look at the world the same way. Uh, they say if, if we'll do this to Hosni Mubarak, uh, they may this, do this to the Saudis as well. I think uh, our relations with the Saudis have uh, really hit a low point. <clears throat> Ambassador, what is your predict prediction for the rest of this year? I mean, at some point the administration is going to change uh, and, and the Saudis will be dealing with someone different. But so long as President Obama is in charge, uh, is the House of Saud effectively at risk? Do you foresee them being able to maintain their power this year? I think they'll maintain their power. Every time their demise has been predicted, they've, uh, they've rallied and they've been able to survive. Uh, they have survival in their nature. Uh, but I think they're, they're making some, some calculations right now that may turn out to be mistakes. This war in Yemen is, is a quagmire uh, for them. There's no political objective that's been articulated. Uh, but they're viewing this as a proxy war with Iran, and uh, uh, so they're going to soldier on with it. Uh, I think they have uh, a, a tremendous uh, degree of concern about the Iran nuclear deal. So, uh, they see themselves uh, surrounded by uh, Shiite uh, uh, militias and Shiite uh, threats uh, throughout the, uh, the Sunni <coughs> Muslim world. And to your point, Ambassador, they feel abandoned by us. So I want to yeah. get to oil for a moment because we, we've been watching it uh, mm -hmm. fall to a 12-year low. Uh, there's a lot of supply out there, and the fear is not enough demand. How is this affected yeah. right now by all of the challenges in the Middle East? Well, the the Saudis the uh, have sure the the Saudis are pumping flat out right now uh, to maintain their market share. They are giving heavy heavy discounts uh, to Northern Europe. Uh, they are uh, they're only raising prices very slightly in Asia because of the refinery uh, profit uh, margin there. But overall, they are uh, producing flat out. When Iran's sanctions are lifted, they will be producing as much as they can uh, ramp up. They're going to have $100 billion with which to retool their oil industry. We also have Libya coming online uh, with more oil, and even Iraq. So uh, it's, it's a, a glut of supply, and the Saudis are uh, trying to, to uh, marginalize certainly the Iranians and to some degree the Russians and even U.S. high-cost shale producers. So uh, this is, a, this is a, a race to the bottom. Well, they, they are trying to marginalize uh, U.S. shale producers. This is something, Ambassador, they've been trying to do for a while. I mean, I think back to November 2014 in that critical OPEC meeting. Yeah. And the Saudis, who are very instrumental in OPEC, left prices steady. Um, and in doing so, effectively started to drive those oil prices lower, which hurt shale producers, is still hurting shale producers. Did they in some ways sort of create this mess by doing well, what they did they back created, in 14? Uh, in a way they did, but I think also the U.S. Uh, production has created some of the mess as well. Uh, over the last five years, we've added something like 9 million barrels a day to overall uh, production. And five million of that comes from the United States. So we ourselves are actually increasing the production more than the Saudis have. Uh, and I think uh, in some ways the Saudis have miscalculated about our shale producers. They have driven out the really high cost producers. But the rest of the industry, through American ingenuity and technology, has actually been able to lower its costs and be very competitive. So I think in a way the Saudis miscalculated on how much uh, impact they could have.